狂轰，风声传媒，后来打，打佢啦。Yo, what up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my retain gang doing tonight, man? How's all my real fellas out there doing tonight, man? I hope everybody doing as good as I am, man. Because I'm up here feeling amazing, bro. I'm up here feeling amazing, man. And I just feel like coming here and talk with some of my fellas, bro, about this true, true thing that happens to us all the time on our retention journey. And what am I talking about, bro? What am I talking about? I'm talking about that it. I'm talking about that gift that you have out here when you're retaining your seed. We understand there ain't a lot of people out here doing what we're doing, fellas. We understand that. And we seeing the side effects from what it is that we doing. And I can't help it, bro. I can't help it but to be out in the everyday world, bro. Now that I'm tapped in, I'm, my energy is withdrawn from everything that's the norm in society. I have the ability, bro, to sit back and peep the scene, bro, and evaluate all the different things that are going on around me, bro. And let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> there ain't nobody out here doing this. There ain't nobody out here with the retention goggles on, bro. They're not tapped in. They're not in this frequency, bro, where they can sit here and map out a, a path, bro, a different journey than the rest of the folks out here, man. And this is when people start looking at you. They start noticing you're, you're different. You're, you're like a virus in a program. You're the only thing that's like you that's existing in the matrix. And then the, all of a sudden, bro, you start to see all the side effects because now you're not one of them no more. You're not walking around like the rest of the people, bro, who are out here, who are still asleep in the program. No, you are a retainer, bro. You got all of these attributes, bro. You got all of this energy, bro. You got all of this high frequency attraction power. And they don't understand why they do the things that they do, bro, when they're in your presence. Now, guys, I hang around all sorts of different walks of people. I meet different people every single day. I get invited to all sorts of things. I hang out with people, okay, all sorts. I have them from the very people on the top who are making tons of money. And I have people who are on the very bottom who don't have no money. So when I tell you I'm on both spectrums, okay, and I notice, bro, no matter who I'm around, and this is what I'm telling y'all, no matter who I'm around, bro, I see these side effects of being a retainer. I see how my energy affects people. Yo, let me tell you something crazy, bro, okay? Because it makes no sense. So I'm going to start out at the higher spectrum. I'm hanging out with three dudes, okay? All got businesses, okay? All retired. They they do they go around, fly around, do golf trips all over the damn uh country, bro. Okay? This is what they do. This is their lifestyle, okay? And I noticed 
every time I come around and they energy, bro, it's like all of a sudden they just stop talking. <laughs> if I, if I'm lying, I'm flying, bro. They just stop talking, bro. Okay. And then it's like, they start trying to like size me up or something, bro. All right. And then next thing you know, I look over and, and one of the dudes just can't stop looking at me, bro. And his hands is all fidgety, bro. Okay. I see these things. These are the things that happen. And these are, these things are not normal. Okay. They're not normal, bro. Okay. Let me tell you another example, bro. So I'm just walking and just the mind in my business, bro. Okay. I see this dude with some curly hair come right next to me, bro. Right. Bro, just all of a sudden starts shadow boxing within my energy. <laughs> I cannot make this up, bro. Okay. It's like he was walking perfectly. He was, his mind was somewhere else, bro. And the minute he got close to me, like I'm talking within like a couple shoulder lengths, bro. He just started shadow boxing and, th and just got into a zone, bro. Like he just hit some kind of magical energy wave, bro. And he just started feeling like the power of this, bro. Like I cannot make this up, you guys. Okay. This is what I see. And it's even crazier with the women, bro. Okay. Because they automatically do the same thing. It's like, they don't understand, bro. It's like a bumblebee to a flower. Okay. All of a sudden, bro, you, you up and they're just like, you have to like try to get off me, get off me, get off. You got to go duck and dive through them, bro. I'm not kidding you, bro. Okay, because it's the energy, bro. It's the frequency, bro. Yo, I watched a video so deep, okay, on TikTok. And most of y'all will be like, what? That video can't be that deep, bro. Let me tell you how deep the video is, bro. And it's something so simple. Something so, a perfect example of what natural nature has to offer. And it shows you the kind of abilities that we have, but we haven't tapped in. So I'm looking at this video, bro, and this is video of a frog on a lily pad, okay, on a pond, okay, and all the frog did, bro, was use his voice, his natural given ability that he has. He is tapped in. He is not out of balance. He's in sync with nature, bro. And what he created was a frequency wave that resonated off of him onto the water, which proves what? That we are energy. And when we retain as retainers, as men, as women alike, okay, we have this ability to reach others. Yo, it's so crazy, man, how many people from the past come back. It's crazy how many people start thinking about you, how the phone starts to ringing. You start getting the text messages and the emails from people that you haven't even talked to in a long time. And they just want to look you up because it's literally an energy, bro. We are tapped in. We are infinite beings, bro. We are superpower. We are many gods walking around here. And we got to understand, bro, that this is how we magnify these gifts that we were given. And this is why retention is so important, bro, because I'm living it, man. I'm telling you guys, this is my life. It's so beautiful. The opportunities are flowing in. The abundance in my mind, bro, is there. I've cut, let, I've cut back and I've let go all of the negative things from the past. And all I can do now is think positive and move forward, bro. Okay. And anybody else that's willing to join me on this high frequency walk, I extend my hand to them. But one thing that I'm not going to do, bro, is dealt dwell back into the past of anything. I'm here to graduate, bro. I'm here to ascend. And this is what I'm trying to do to inspire my peers around me, man, because I want everybody to truly experience this walk, bro. I hope everybody's doing good, man. I'm doing great, bro. And I just had to come up here real quick, man. And, and I just want to tell you guys, what is it that sets us apart, bro? Ultimately, it comes down to this. It comes down to discipline, bro. Listen, it sounds so simple. It's the easiest and it's the most simplest remedy to the problems, bro, that you have. And this is why it's important that you do retention, though, because retention forces you because now you have something that's going to give you that drive, that's going to give you that motivation. You have something to lose, 
Okay. You understand what it is, what you're doing. Okay. You talk to yourself. You tell yourself you have a realization with yourself, bro, about what it is that you're trying to accomplish in your life. That's why most of the time, the people that take retention seriously, bro, are these people who are ready for a change. You can't just come in this journey and take this journey, you know, not serious, bro. Okay. And then expect to get some, you know, these miraculous things that happen to you. It doesn't work like like that. You guys really got to tap in, bro. You really got to take this journey seriously, bro. And you're going to understand and see that everything that I'm telling you isn't a gift. It's an ability. I have an up over the next man. Okay. It is something that I tapped into. It is something that I worked for. It is something that I acquired. It is something that I found. It is something that other people don't have. That is a gift. Okay. That is an ability. Okay. That is an up. Okay. This is what you want to have, bro, in your life, especially in this walk, bro. Okay. You want to have these gifts. You want to be tapped into the, to the highest degree, bro. So you can be the best you can be. This is what we're here for, man. We're here for everybody to resonate on the same frequency. Everybody should be walking around here happy in their own mind, doing whatever it is that they want that makes them happy. 50,000 likes. We'll be doing a Spider-Man flip. My my favorite musical ball. I love you. Wow, you voted for me. Well, I appreciate you. At 50,000 likes, we'll be doing a Spider-Man flip. A rose for Mary Jane. Okay. With no negative thoughts in mind, nobody thinking about anything they have to pay or or have to give up or have to do. Everybody should be in this thought, bro, because then everything else that we're doing around us, I'm telling you, just becomes effortless. I'm telling you, you end up going to find in what it is that you truly are supposed to do your purpose, because now you're in line with the energy. You're in line with sports. You're in line with what the most high wanted you to do because you're not out of balance. You didn't get deprogrammed. You're now reprogrammed. You now tapped in, bro. Okay. This is why this stuff is so important, man. I wish you guys would stop playing around, man. I'm telling you, bro, there is nothing better than this, bro. Okay. And we're going to continue to raise our frequency. We're going to continue, bro, to put smiles on people's faces, bro. And we're going to continue to live in abundance, bro, and grow. All right. And be able to uplift around you. I'm telling you, there's nothing better than that. All these people out here capping, living these uh, these alter egos and living in a lower nature, trying to pretend and put on personas, bro. You ain't got to do that no more. Okay, because you're really going to go back to who it is that you truly supposed to be. And I'm telling you guys, man, this is the life for everyone, bro. Okay, this is the one thing I want to prescribe to everybody, bro. Okay, there's not one person out there who doesn't deserve this, man. You just have to tap in. Truth and Broadcasting Station, what's happening with you, brother? Good to see you in here tonight, man. Good to see you. Darrell, how you doing, bro? Peace and wisdom. Peace and wisdom. Good to see you in here tonight, man. Good to see you, brother. I appreciate you for being in here, bro. Two and a half years of retention. It'll be three years in May. I must say this is not a placebo. Tell them, bro. Tell them all the amazing things that be happening in your life. Tell them, bro. They don't believe it, man. They don't believe it. Now, let, let me explain something to you. So I told you that first story about what it is that I was doing, right? <laughs> I told you how these well-off men, these men got money, retired, bro make millions probably somewhere in that degree, bro. Okay. And every time that I come around in their energy, bro, they just like clam up and stop talking. They stop. <laughs> it's like they, it's like they got the, the, the air just got sucked out of the room. And here are these guys. Okay. 
that pretty much have it all, bro. But it's like they look at me and they just look at how I am and how I carry myself and how I'm not like the typical person. Like I catch people off of guard, bro, because I'm walking around here on retention energy. I told you this is Christ consciousness. This is Christ like energy. Christ ain't going to be walking around here in some Air Force One J's, bro, in a backward cap with, a, with his booty crack hanging out, looking suspect. That's not the way it's going to work. You're going to go and you're going to be the cleanest person, the cleanest cut person that you can be. Okay. Most people don't have to be clean cut, but, but I tell you what, they're not going to be walking around looking like the stereotypical person, bro, with a low uh, educational level. Okay. They're not going to do that. Okay. They're going to represent what it is that they have on the inside and they're going to reflect that on the outside. And that's what makes a retainer so unique. We stand out, bro. We're different, bro. There's so many elements on why we're able to meet and greet and connect with different people, bro, because it's a different energy that we're on. I just explained to you, bro, perfectly on how that frog's energy, okay, is resonates upon the pond, bro. And you can see the frequency way. Waves. This is the same thing that you have. As a matter of fact, you have an even more powerful one, which is in your chest, which is what they tell you they want you to be, uh, you know, your uh, heart to be light as a feather. Okay. If you look at the laws of my, okay, this is what you're going to see, bro, because that one right there is the most important one. And like I said, as you retain as you go on your journey as you ascend your different chakras you're gonna uh, you're gonna run into the heart chakra okay it's 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 right before you get up to the throat and to the crown so you're gonna run through your heart chakra and this is how you know you're at a certain level so many of you guys want to have questions like i wish i knew where i was in my chakras well it's pretty easy Okay, you can know exactly where you're at. You can know that you're not on the throat chakra if you're not somebody on here that is preaching good things to uplift humanity. Somebody up here who's not talking a whole bunch of grass, uh, trash, and garbage, and gossip, okay, and cussing all the time, and making references to low vibrational things, okay, and listening to low vibrational music because you are what it is that you consume, just like it, just like it is, you are what you eat. So all that crap that you're listening to, that you're feeding to your temple, it's going to do that same thing to your subconscious mind, bro. And you will find yourself saying things and recreating certain situations from things that you done took in. Okay. This is why all of these things are important. When you go on this journey, bro, you block all of that out, man. I'm telling you, man, and you remain focused and you see the finish line. And this is where everything comes online. Darrell says, life gets better and it will only get better. Tell them the truth, bro. Life will only get better, especially when you have that positive mind. When I tell you, bro, that your sexual life force energy, bro, rejuvenates you, bro. Okay. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. That's what that it is, bro. That's why it feels so good when you release one, bro. Think about it. Think about how good you feel. It's like, hi -ya! It's like, you know, you be like, you be, you be shooting that thing like a rubber band. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. So that energy is powerful, bro. And if you stop aiming and, shooting and releasing that energy like that, bro, and you learn how to redirect it with the breathing techniques, bro, you learn how to redirect it, bro, by eating really good, a balanced meal for your body fasting, Okay. Doing detoxes, bro. Okay. Really going hard, man. You can really tap into some extraordinary powers and capabilities. Okay. As a human being. All right. And like I said, this goes for both men and women alike. It's up to you what you want to do in this life. Okay. We all see what's going on around us. <laughs> we can't be happy with what's going on. Okay. We want more. Okay, we're not built here to be slaves and work. Everybody I know, goddamn copper tunnel. That's messed up, man. We need to get to our higher selves again so we can work smarter and not harder. Jordan, what's happening with you, brother? Good to see you in here tonight, man. He said, I don't watch corn or spank the monkey, but I have my girlfriend come over every weekend. Yep. And during the last week, I retain. Will I see any benefits in your opinion? Uh, thanks for the consideration. That's a good question, bro. 
That's a good question. And the answer is you're going to see minute things. Let me tell you what you will see. Now, these might not be minute to you, okay? But in the case of me who doesn't do that, who looks at anything that I release energy-wise, it's, it's going to hurt my overall, you know, um, you know, funds. I'll, I'll look at it like Scrooge McDuck. He don't want to give up a penny, right? So when you're sitting on all this energy, bro, you're not willing to give up anything at this point. You, you're a little Scrooge McDuck, bro, okay? <laughs> you're greedy as hell. You're trying to keep every single last cent that you can because you understand what it is that you don't work for and what you don't built up, right? So with the situation of having a girlfriend, what ends up happening, bro, is you're going to start to see minute things. And let me tell you what these minute things, bro, that can be positive, but they're minute in the, in the eyes of a retainer. But to you, it could be, you know, the night and day difference. What's going to happen is, bro, you're going to keep the attraction longer between you and your woman. Okay. Because what ends up happening is most of the time when we're in relationships, we can't control ourselves, bro. Okay. We can't distance ourselves. That is so important for a relationship. Let me tell you something. The more that you have are intimate with that same person, the more that the attraction starts to lessen. Okay. I'm telling you something from experience, bro. This is why it's important, bro to not be one of these people who are constantly releasing your energy to each other because on a subconscious level, you both know that that's unattractive and that's unnatural. Okay. And you both will start leading each other to lower and lower, and lower nature. And subconsciously, like I said, we all know the truth. We don't need any books to tell us the truth. We all know when we start experiencing things, what's right and wrong and what we shouldn't do. Okay. And the problem with being in a relationship is that's what you have. That's what happens. Okay. And people start, you know, start not liking each other. So you'll strengthen that area. Okay. Of the relationship. Not only that, bro, like I said, you're going to keep the attraction better. Okay. Not only that, bro. Okay. You're going to last longer than someone that's constantly doing it all the time. Okay. And, and then lastly, bro, you're going to love that person more. Because it's not just something you're trying to get out. It's not just an addiction at that point. Okay. You're learning to restraint. You're learning how to hold back. And I said at one point that this is something important that you should do in a relationship because eventually when you're going to be in a drought, because we all will be, we all think we're going to be with the same person for the rest of our lives, especially when we don't know the things that I've just told you. Okay. Most of the time it does not last. And most of the time you'll be in between. And most of the time, if you did not take the time to work on yourself, you didn't take the time to do the chateau work, you're going to be one of those PMO victims, bro. All right. And your life's going to go to hell because there's all sorts of stimulus that they got out there. There's all sorts of bad food that they got out there. And if you do, you lose your mind in this matrix, you might not ever get it back, bro. So this is why retention is so important. When you start retaining your seed for real, for real, you're going to have so much damn confidence. It's not fake confidence, bro. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you, fools. It's not fake confidence, bro. Okay. I am confident as hell, bro, around here, bro. I am walking around here right now, bro, in the midst of my retainer journey, bro. Okay. Fit, trim, bro. Looking like damn Bruce Lee. <laughs> I'm telling you, looking like damn Bruce Lee, bro. And you know what's crazy, man? What's crazy is, bro, I feel so good. And this is how I'm telling you, man. I look at people like Bruce Lee, bro. And Bruce Lee looked like he was a retainer, bro. Bruce Lee believed in the arts of what Buddha used to teach. Bruce Lee, bro, was super thin, bro. You could sit here and call me thin all you want. Bruce Lee, somebody has to be the Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was extremely healthy, extremely powerful, extremely intelligent. Okay, extremely tapped into all of his highest faculties, bro. Bruce Lee was a true master, bro. Okay, and if you look at what Bruce Lee did, Bruce Lee didn't act like none of us. Bruce Lee ain't out here eating hamburgers, Bruce Lee ain't out here on the hub with an OnlyFans subscription. 
Bruce Lee ain't walking around out here, bro, with his pants cracked hanging off his. I mean, come on. How do you guys expect to beat me? It's crack hanging out. Bruce Lee ain't walking around like this. And none of those people, bro, that we ultimately look up to. Okay. Y'all saviors, so called. Okay. Y'all Christ is so called. And I look at somehow you, somehow you people, bro, are carrying yourselves in the modern day, bro, which shows you, man, okay, that you might not be tapped in like you think you is, man. And this is why I want people to go in on this journey, man, because it's going to help you reevaluate yourself, bro. All right. You'll do some serious soul looking, bro. Okay. You'll do some serious looking in the mirror, bro. You'll do some serious start pointing the finger the other way, bro. Okay. And it's like the ultimate awakening, man. You preaching there as Bruce Lee showed us the way, bro. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, bro. Bruce Lee was one of those fine examples. And then, and, you know, all of a sudden they had to get rid of him, right? <laughs> he was one of these guys that tapped into some ability. Dude was small, 135 pounds, light, barely ate any meals, could, could break bones of many men bigger than him, was faster, was the teacher, was the master, bro, okay? All of these things that I'm up here trying to attain to be, bro, this is what I'm encompassing in my life. I'm feeling every single thing that these, you know, these chosen ones before us have spoken about. I'm feeling it, bro. In the time I'm telling you guys, this is no cat, bro. This is how I feel, bro. I feel freaking amazing. Okay. And you're going to feel the same way, bro. I promise you, if you just keep walking on this walk. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys, man. I'm about to dip up out of here, man. I appreciate everybody for being in here tonight, man. You guys keep going, bro. Don't let nobody knock you off your journey, bro. Don't let them do it, man. Retain your energy. Scrooge McDuck, bro. Scrooge McDuck. No nut November. Scrooge McDuck. That's what you is. You Mr. Scrooge McDuck. You Mr. Bah Humbug. You're not getting a dime this month. Okay, you're not getting a dime this month. And then when I come back the next month, oh, you better watch out. You better watch out. Okay, I'm going to have off the chain swag. All right, because you're going to be retaining, bro. All right, and you're going to be gaining, bro. And next thing you know, you might not even want that same. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. So listen, man, you guys have a good night, man. I appreciate you guys for being here. I love you guys. Have a good night. Peace, fellas. I will not stay. Even if I must sacrifice my life.